Pops in the building. It's your boy Chuck Creekmer. I'm here with Cree Summer and Daryl Bell from a different world. I'm so excited. Oh, I, man. I can't What's lie. Huh? What's happening? What's happening? I don't know. I'm just, I'm here with y'all, so I'm excited. Oh, well, first of all, I have to thank you for all that you've given to us because you made me want to go to an HBCU. Oh, thank Shout out to Delaware State. Shout out to Delaware yeah, State. Yeah, and y'all made it so cool. I know yes. you hear this all the time, but I have to say it. And the diversity was crazy. Yes. Too. It wasn't just one thing. Well, black people are not a monolith. And it mm -hmm. was so important that we were able to see your, a reflection of yourself in each and every character. Mm -hmm. And when we were on the air, we doubled HBCU enrollment. Yes. And so we're on the road again to do it again. Let's yes. double it again. Let's get us back in school. Yes. Yes. We, cause... And in our, our schools. Right. More importantly. Right. Yes. So let me ask you guys this, because this is a topic of discussion regarding... Okay. Um, college and yep. debt and HBCU, you yes. know, all of it is a lot of kids don't want to go to school like that anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. How do you all feel about that? And can you argue for why we should continue to? Really simple. If you look at the Forbes 400 wealthiest individuals, 90, I'm going to be conservative, 95% of them, all of them have a college degree. Yeah. Of the ones that don't, for example, Bill Gates doesn't have a college degree, but he got into Harvard and he dropped out of Harvard. And most folks who drop out of college aren't going to start a multinational conglomerate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for everyone that you think that you see in media and entertainment who you think is wealthy, Elon Musk can buy them and most of the folks on the list a hundred times over and still be the wealthiest man yeah. in the world. Yeah. Right. So. If you want to be able to hone your capacity for critical thinking and to be globally competitive, there's no place you're going to learn where to do that better than in college, full stop. Tell it. And let's not ignore the aspect of culture yes. and being with your people mm -hmm. and being empowered mm -hmm. and the way that the HBCUs take care of each individual. Mm -hmm. Those relationships, those student-teacher relationships are very different than other other schools. Absolutely. So there's, I mean, there's so they many. They care. They really give a damn. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. As soon as you tell folks, yeah, you don't really need to go to school soon you're gonna tell them yeah you don't really need to vote yeah oh right. no you don't really need to yeah, read i, I agree yeah. baby that's really a sli slippery slope that's man. where it goes yeah. it's so. a very slippery slope and i'm starting to think that we'll be talking in emoji in about 10 years yeah, idi idiocracy so. the film that predicted our future right. all you yeah. have to do is say take take the greatest among us yeah mm -hmm. from frederick Douglass, w.e.b du bois Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. Malcolm X read the dictionary from cover to cover. That's mm. right. Pick which one of them was going to tell any black person in the future, don't go to school. Yeah. Right. They None never of would. Them. They never would have. I agree. I agree, yeah. And there's nobody walking the planet that supersedes their influence or their impact on our culture full stop. Yeah. Mike Where's drop. my soapbox? Mike let drop. Me Mike drop. Soapbox. Let me put let's, it let's down. Let's throw these let's throw these damn things down. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. let me talk to you guys, since this is all hip-hop, let's talk okay. hip-hop. Now, you guys, you know, back in the day, yeah, y'all had, like, y'all were hip y'all were hip hop without saying this is hip hop. Well and just think about the people that we had on our show. We had Pac on yeah. our show who was incredible. We had Heavy D. We had uh -huh. Chris Cross. Yep. We had incredible guest stars. Jermaine Dupree. Jermaine Dupree. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. JD oh, Yeah, he was on there too. Yeah. That's right. He was on with Chris Cross. Yeah. So, so how was that for you? Were y'all fans of them? Or oh yes. Oh, of course. Oh my gosh. Uh, we were probably geeking out over everybody that came. Yeah. I mean probably Pac probably at the top of the list for me but mm -hmm. um yeah it was an exceptional time yeah. but that, you know to to from everybody back there from who then and now from la from ll to mm -hmm. chuck d to yeah. pick anyone and rock him mm -hmm. krs one these are all legend and by the way it's funny if you you have to distinguish between your favorite mc and who was the best lyricist? Ooh, that's a re you. that's a really dynamic <laughs> okay. conversation. Yeah, uh, because look, look, Ice Cube is one of my favorite rappers of all time, and yeah. and, and No Vaseline is still the most devastating rap beef song ever recorded. Okay. You can listen to that now, and it's ferocious. Yeah, it is. One of one of my favorite ep my, my favorite parts is straight out of Compton. Yeah, when they had the scene where Dre and all of them listened <laughs> in the studio, they were like. 
That's good. <laughs> <laughs> and like, we don't have nothing for yeah, this. Yeah, like, well, what can we say? <laughs> Zero it's notes. Just, it's just good. But if you listen to Kendrick and, and J. Cole yeah. now, mm-hmm. like, these cats, w- one of the most amazing things when um, Dave Chappelle hosted on Saturday, Saturday Night Live and Most Def and Talib Kweli not only perform. Mm-hmm. But their lyrics were in the background, yeah. and they are so dense yes. that, yeah. I, and they didn't miss a syllable, right? right? Yeah. You know, uh, I. So anyway, neither say I'm passionate about this. It's funny to me, like as much as I'm a fan of Chuck D, who doesn't rhyme for the sake of riddling. Mm-hmm. Right. Welcome to the Terror Dome is one of my favorite songs. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Everyone loves it. Yeah. I got so much trouble on my mind. Refuse to lose. Here's your ticket. Hit the drum and get wicked. Now, can anybody say what the next verse is? Almost nobody because <laughs> it is so it's hard. It's like, <laughs> like <laughs> Chuck, Chuck goes into a list right there that right. you can barely put it together. And you then it comes out, smack the, the Mac. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> smack the Mac, collect, and strike back. And you're right. like, what? I can't even get it out of my mouth the yeah, way Chuck right. is flowing. It's a, it's incredible. You're right. So, so since you're so into it, I have to. We, we keep saying we're not going to talk about the beef. But what about not like us versus oh. no Vaseline? Because nah, like, we're, we're having this debate now. Is it, did it top no Vaseline? I don't know. It's brutal. It's, it's brutal, but I... I, I, I can't say it topped. I can't say it topped it either. It's a different climate. So yes. put that in A there. different time. And I, I got to tell you, but overall, as much as I like No Vaseline as a song, too, right. because it, it, it also samples Doozik, mm-hmm. right? Um, I, I, Not like I us is becoming a movement. I just, yeah. I know there's it. A, there's a big the difference sub, there. The it's becoming a movement. Yeah. It's, 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 it's also evolving beyond the beef. Yes, and it's definitely. becoming a political statement, mm-hmm. and so Speak in that, that aspect, I would say that not like us is probably up in the polls, the mm-hmm. forerunner. Yeah, yeah. My, my question that. though is, I've never heard Nickelback diss the Kings of Leon. You know, I'm just. I'm <laughs> that just, is part of it, though. Yeah, yeah, you can't I, you can't yeah. negate that that's part of what the culture is. That there's always there's that's a always, part of yes, the hip hop. That's part culture. of hip hop culture, I, and kids, Kings of Leon are not part of hip hop culture. So no, no, no. Can, I'm yeah. just saying that. And they, you know, I'm a big rockhead. No, I, I agree. <laughs> my, my point being, I am I am curious why our culture attacks our own when right. others don't. That's the distinction. Right. And I, but, but I think, think the attack. I think the attack for me, it doesn't seem personal. It feels like it's an art form, but it is getting heavy. It is heavy. It, it is, is heavy. getting heavy. Okay, yeah. so since you're a rock head, you you do music and I do. voice. I do. Work. Yeah. So, yes. so you know, I'm a rock head as well. Are you on the low? I almost yes. wore a, a Smashing Pumpkins T-shirt oh, today. Oh, fantastic, Billy Corgan. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Politically, he's a little weird. I found that I, out later. I'd say a little questionable. Real yeah. questionable. We won't even touch that. We won't that. even talk about I it. I don't yeah. want to go gonna, there. Not gonna yeah. act like he said anything. Yeah. So who? Give us your top. And, and you can join in to sure. yeah. rock top five if you can go. Oh, you're going to be shocked. Well, number one is Frank Zappa. I am okay. a diehard Frank Zappa fan. Okay. I love Swamp Boogie. I'm a big Leon Russell, Edgar Winter fan. Okay. I, um, oh God, I love vintage rock. I love Motorhead. Okay. I love ACDC. I love, um, God. So many, so many fucking bands. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I'd say that's my top five. I'm still a diehard ACDC fan. Okay. Um, yeah. So for me, I'm going to do a lot of classic, but I will add some in. So you two. Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix, of course. So you two, and I'm, and, and since you miss. include our brother who produced my album. Lenny. Lenny Kravitz. Lenny, Lenny Kravitz. Lenny yes. Kravitz is my boy. Who just got a, wa- a star on the Walk of Fame and is about yeah. to do a residency in Vegas. And wears sheer shirts there? all the time. Oh, yeah. wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seen him live once. I have to. I like check Rage Against the Machine. Okay. We love Rage. Yeah. We love I, Rage. I, I, I really like Pearl Jam. Okay. I like Nickelback. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm, listen, my brother yes. and Nickelback. Can I, yes. Can I just tell you yes. guys, I wouldn't high five on that in public. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh! That, 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 that Nickelback, Nickelback evaporates moisture. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, but, but wow. Look, you my know, Nickelback you brother. know what? No, it's interesting to me. I, there are so many people who dislike Nirvana because they're like it's so simplistic. Oh no, that's Whatever. that's brilliant songwriting. And, and Nirvana is brilliant songwriting. They're like there are only four chords in the song. What's so great about uh, uh, this? Excuse me, anyone? The Beatles. So uh, yeah. there's that. So anyway, all you need all you need is four chords. You just play we're, it right. We're we're, yeah. we're talking about. We, this is how far down the rock and roll rabbit hole we go. Yeah. Chris Cornell is one of my favorite singers. Oh God, of I all miss time. him so much. Yeah, rest, rest, rest in yeah. peace. Yeah. 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 Well, I like oh, and, smashing. And, oh, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Good. Yeah. Oh it, well, I don't. Offhead, I'm freezing a little bit, but yeah. smashing pumpkins. Nirvana, Foo Fighters. Love the Foo Fighters. Rollins Band. Are y'all familiar with Henry Rollins and Rollins Listen, Band? Listen, my father was a big, was actually a friend of Henry Rollins really? and uh, was in his very last movie. Wow. Uh, he okay. never died. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I love Henry Rollins. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm trying to find him and catch up with him. Yeah. He's tough to pin down. Well, he's still here. Yeah, I know. How I know. about that? I, one, one day. Yeah, one day. Yeah. Um, who else? I'll just throw a random. Uh, cr oh, wait. Does The Cure count as rock? No. Sure. No? What? Well, the Cure doesn't count the as rock and roll? I mean, it's kind of... They're not r and B. I I mean, it's a, a little maudlin, but I, I love The Cure. I'll say The I Cure because the they help me get through life. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. The Cure. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine who's a great producer, Doc McKinney, Doc Martin, who produced Astero and was part of Astero. Mm, I love Astero. He yeah. just produced a New Cure album, I believe. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to have to coming look. Coming up, yeah. Well, I'm uh, glad we had this part of the conversation. <laughs> we didn't, I didn't plan to go there. Yeah. Well, I love we, it, though. Yeah, we'll we leave. went where the feelings took Yeah, definitely. I'm... We're not going to get into the Eagles or Peter Frampton live. We're not okay. going to talk about okay. Fleetwood Mac. We're not going to yeah. talk about... Oh, my about God. Fleetwood Mac. I'm um, just... I, my arms start doing this. So. There's, there's a new black rock group or maybe pop, whatever. Yeah. They recreated... Yeah, uh, what think, are they called? Um, they're um, lovely, and they sing b beautiful harmonies. There's like five yes, of them or yes, four of them. Yeah, I cannot. I love Jay -Z them. Jay-Z manages yeah, them Yeah, no, now. they're beautiful. Yeah, Oh, definitely. look at that. We no, I like them. I, I yeah, really like them. They're yeah. very viral. I wish we knew their name. I am so nothing sorry. Like, nothing like... like <laughs> Propping someone up whose right. name you don't know. Yes, I, we'll, I love the irresponsibility. We'll, we'll find, we'll we'll find them. Gonna search it out and yeah, figure it yeah. out. Yeah. So I don't want to hold you guys forever. I could, okay. but I yep. won't. Okay. Um, but I just want to say again, thank you. Um, if you want, what are you like working on now, or you know, I know uh, you have the tour. We're and on stuff. the tour. I just became the new libra librarian on Abbott Elementary. Oh shit! And, okay. Uh, what else? I'm on about. 10 cartoons right now yeah. uh i'm also become an animation director and one of the cartoons i finished just finished uh, for adult swim is called oh my god yes okay. and it's very important because it's the first adult animated series created and starring a black woman and being directed by a black woman nice. which is a real white boys club and we are right. breaking that ceiling down yeah. so i'm very very excited about that i'm on teen titans go yes. uh vox machina Rugrats. Um, I'd have to check my phone because I smoke so much weed, but <laughs> it's okay. a lot. I'm a comic nerd too, by the way. So <laughs> I'm a, thank you I'm a so comic much. Book collector. Yes, me too. I get every ten volumes bound well, in leather. Really? Yes. Okay, I'm not on that level. That's okay. I ain't gonna lie. You can get there. <laughs> what do you collect? Can I just ask real quick? Well, look here. So let me back up. I only collect graphic novels now because right. I don't have time. Right. But um, I, I have a lot from back in the day. I have yeah. like buckets and crates of comics. Yeah. And there, none are in mint condition because I read them so much. But that's mm. love. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. So Marvel Who would you or say DC? is your favorite? Yeah, Marvel. Yes. Come on, okay. DC. That's, I had to ask the question. Okay. Some people... It's like Marvel and Batman yeah. for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything else is. Yeah. DC just crams those yeah. characters. The last in. Flash I enjoyed. The last oh, one no. I enjoyed. I did. I, I ain't gonna lie. I like. I like. I did I not. Was, I but did. here's the thing: yeah. if you're a DC head, you may not have liked may it. May not have liked if it. If you're yeah. casual, which I am with DC, <laughs> it was. It was good. It was good. If you're casual. <laughs> but what would you say is your favorite comic book? I'm always. Um, the Hulk's my favorite superhero. Come on. Did you know I was the She-Hulk? I did the voice of the She-Hulk. Oh, I, I had no idea. Yeah. Oh my God. X-Men. Yeah. I X Men yeah. is probably my favorite book. Yeah. Hulk is my favorite. But Wolverine is as well. Canadian. I I'm a up. Canadian. Wolverine is a Canadian. Yes, Originally yes, yes, an he alpha is. Force. And he's this tall, by the way. That's and right. Hugh Jackman's walking around like That's this. All right. That's oh, it. See, now, I was just about to say, when was the last time either of you were at the movies? 
I would. I, I just see, went to see Bike Riders. I went to oh. see Mad Max Furiosi. I was about to say because we're all gonna be there for Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be there for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. That's, that's one hundred. Okay. Definitely. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm not gonna hold you. I know, I'm not gonna hold you. It's a beautiful geek festival. Right. Yeah. yeah. I love it. We're going it. down the rabbit hole. Right. We're definitely <laughs> okay. going down the rabbit okay. hole. This has been our most fun interview. This today. has been really? the most fun interview today. Yes. yes. Uh, and not, not to say that the rest were shuck and jive. Right. 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 But this one was fan fucking test. Yeah, you hit all the yeah, notes you were trying to get at. Thank My you. high beams are on. Good. <laughs> Yes, fantastic. See, she hit you in your soft spot. You weren't ready for that. Yeah. You weren't ready. Yeah, you got me good. Got good, me good. good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank right, you. Y'all. Can we um, get a quick shout out for All Hip Hop? Yes, All Hip Hop? Yeah. This is Cree Summer for All Hip Hop, motherfuckers. <laughs> this is Daryl and Bell for All Hip Hop. Yo, yo. All right. <laughs> um, Quick picture? Thank yes, you. let's this do it. Was, let's this do it. was best, my best interview, too. Yay. Come on.